Well, more than $3 billion is on the table right now for the city of Charlotte's proposed budget. And tonight, members of the public got to tell the council how they think that money should be spent. Our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, joins us live right now from the government center. After sitting in on that meeting, now, Emma, tell me first, what's the general consensus of everything? And are they happy with how this money is being allocated? So, Alicia, the speakers during this public hearing were really split into two camps. Half of them were applauding the city manager. They were thanking all the council members for how they wrote this budget, really into it, hoping that they were going to vote yes on this budget. And then the other half was not quite as sure, and they were asking a lot of questions about where this money is getting allocated and kind of asking the council why they're putting money into certain areas and wanting them to put money into different areas. Take a listen to what happened. The $3.24 billion fiscal year 2023 budget will get the Queen City through another year of paying employees, improving public services, and running all the standard operations. It doesn't have any tax increases, doesn't reduce core services, doesn't lay off employees, and more. It actually raises the minimum wage for city employees to $20 an hour, which the Charlotte City Workers Union was thrilled about. I would like to say thank you for having an open door, for listening to us, sitting down with us over the past, past few months. This is what we said, um, and taking a step forward. We have taken a big step forward with this budget. Other groups weren't so impressed with the yes. budget proposal. Right. Spending 40.5% of the budget on the police department is not the way to accomplish this. We need a climate budget, not a police budget. Please revise accordingly. But surprisingly, no one brought up parking. If the budget passes the way it's written right now, parking won't be free in Uptown or South End on Saturdays anymore. It'll cost $1.50 an hour, which is actually 50 cents more than it is now. Councilman Larkin Eggleston doesn't think it's unreasonable, though. Considering that for 25 years or so, the parking has been at the same rate, and you look at private parking and decks and private lots and things like that, and how much that's increased over even just the last five to 10 years, the fact that the city's never raised the price of one street parking is fairly remarkable. And at $1.50 an hour, still far under, I think, the market value. So the budget is slated to be voted on on May 31st, but they're bound to make changes before then. They still got a few more weeks of these meetings where they're going to be discussing the budget. So we'll have to see what happens then. But as for the parking aspect of it, I'd like to hear from you guys, the viewers. So write us an email on qcnews.com and let us know what you think about enforcing that parking on Saturdays now. It would be definitely a big change for a lot of people who come into the city on the weekend. So we'll have to see what happens there. But for now, live at the Government Center, Emma Withrow, Queen City News. A lot of people probably will respond. All right, Emma, thank you. Looking forward to hearing those stories.